Hey, and welcome to another Sound Painting Saturdays episode. I'm your host, Evan Mazunik. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're up here in uh, lovely New York. The rain has just started. We are have uh, battened down the hatches, and we're looking uh, forward to see what this weekend holds as far as Hurricane Irene. So, but we're in good shape. We've got plenty of food, plenty of water. We've, uh, we're making some bread. We've got AA batteries. We've got lots of good books, as you can see in the background. So, we're set. So, we're uh, hunkered down for the weekend and having a hurricane, as I'm calling it. A nice little vacation. But uh, today, I just wanted to share with you an idea I had a few days ago, uh, where I was looking through uh, some gestures, and I was watching some videos, and I came across an idea that I want to share. So as you know, sound painting is a language that Walter Thompson created, but along the way, several and many other people have helped to contribute and add ideas or gestures. And one gentleman who had uh, a big hand in contributing, contributing to several gestures is uh, Francois Genot, who uh, does a lot of great work in France, very well-renowned uh, performer and educator, saxophone player, and great sense of humor. And Francois developed and helped to create uh, the amplitude gesture, which really indicates the range of your material, and it's really in some sense dealing with the level. So you might deal with a wide amplitude or higher, or let me back up here, a bit lower amplitude, and it's showing you basically the sort of the wave range of your performed material. So I thought, that's very interesting, but what if we could apply that to other gestures and combine that? And really what spurred me into that was I was watching a video of a performance by Olivier Benoit, who does some great work in the field of uh, composing in real time. He uses his own language separate from sound painting, very beautiful, but his own work. And it gave me the spark of an idea to say, what if we started working with amplitude, but not just in the range of level of your register, high and low, but also the available range for maybe volume or tempo. So what would a volume amplitude be? In my imagination, that would be you'd have all this range of available volumes within which to play. Almost like you've got this whole range to maybe do subido dynamic changes or crescendo and decrescendo. And same thing or similar thing with tempo amplitude. So maybe you might have a full range of from presto to largo. Or you might just have a little range in different shades of fast tempos. And that you could play, you could accelerate, or you could slow down, you could suddenly jump from one to the next, and you've got that available range of a parameter. So again, thinking what happens if we take amplitude, and again, maybe a little clear amplitude, and apply that and combine that with other gestures and other faders that are already in the sound painting language. So just wanted to share that with you here. Give you a quick update. Uh, good luck to all those of you on the East Coast here, and uh, I'll see you on the other side.